Um, let's do this. Let's select a different context. Yeah. So you can select the different contexts and then just um, look at what you have. Okay. So here it seems there is too much information in contig one, but that's fine. We will just look at the others. Now before we search, all right. Let's go to the spreadsheet again to search for that here margin. So that is here. Let's check. It's this one here. Okay. So here we have the start and end. All right. In this uh, spreadsheet, it's not there, but that's how it's supposed to be. You should have the start and end here. You know, when we use the grab command to get the, to get the, the, to filter and get the lines of interest we do not add a header but the headers here are the same as the ones in the original file so you can just do the maths so here we have the context we have the starts and then the end all right so if you take a look at this one here that air margin that the guys to your page makes mention of this is the start and end all right so we have this and this so here we have 27414 you have two five nine two so this indicates that it's likely to be in the reverse uh, strand all right so if you are going to search you will still need to use the lowest number the smallest number first and then the highest number second and then we also need to indicate the context so what we are going to do is to search for this particular gene here all right so note that we have the proc annotation and we also have the IMR hits information. So we are going to search and then see where I mean the proper annotations where this um this gen can be found. So we will need the information from this side here. So I will just make a copy of one of the values, the rest I will just type, I'll just copy this. All right. So let's go and then search for that gen. So that gene can be found on contact two. All right, so we will have to also change it here. So here we will do this. So we will clear and then start with this. We are starting with the lowest and then let me just do it again. We will start with this one here. So it's supposed to be contact two. All right, contact two, and then let's clear it and then specify the region. So we paste the smaller value and we say dot dot, and then we bring the other value, which is two seven comma four one four. All right, this is it. So this one is also comma. Let's just add it like this, and then let's hit the enter button. Okay, so when you hit the enter button, you will have the region being displayed for you. So this is it. Okay, so for the proc annotation, we see that region. And then when you slide, you can see that session ID. Okay, here you can see that session ID for the style market. So it's from this side up to this side. Okay, so in the same region in Proca, we see multiple copies of that gene. So we can see them here. We can see this. We can see this. We can see this. All right, so we have all those ones. So those are, we have three copies for that gene. All right, you can also include the alignment records by clicking it. And then it will be shown here but there's a lot of information so it takes time to add that all right so we have that here you can also add a reference sequence which is here to give you another visualization and you can visualize and then make sense out of it all right but a detailed discussion of everything here beyond the scope of the story so just uh, make sure to do it yourself and then um, bring me a feedback